Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the end of the month show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of the video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share the cards that have been sent to me by subscribers. Many of these will be for the show us your sheet load features, but sometimes I get a card just because, so I combine them into one video. If you ever want to show us your sheet load, which you can do with a YouTube video, an Instagram post, or by sending a card in to me, I will link that video in the description box below that gives you all of the details. Also linked in the description box below is the October 2020 Show Us Your Sheet Load playlist. I go in and I add any videos that have been added for the month by subscribers to this playlist so you can go and see what they've done with the latest sheet load of cards. I will also link the hashtag over on Instagram, hashtag S-U-Y-S-O-C-T 2020, and you can see what Instagrammers have posted. Toward the end of this video, I will also give you a sneak peek at the Instagram posts for this month. For now, let's go ahead and see what was sent to my P.O. Box this month. The first four cards were made by Jennifer D. in California. Jennifer recently found Sheetload and she has been trying to catch up on all of the different editions or layouts and each month for the past few I could always count on an envelope from her almost every week while she got caught up. Now good news for her, but kind of sad news for me, she is officially caught up with the cards on the screen. From left to right is July. August, September, and October of 2020. So I do hope that Jennifer keeps sending in those cards each month, but I'm definitely gonna miss seeing something from you each week. Thanks so much, Jennifer. The next envelope came from Wanda R. in Virginia, and Wanda has sent me two cards. The one on the left is using the September 2020 sheet load of cards, and on the right, she was inspired by a card that I did for Arteza Week to create her own version. I'll put a little thumbnail of it up here on screen, and I'll link it below if you want to go see how I made it. Also, she has included an adorable little mini stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much, Wanda. Christina M. from Illinois sent in the next card. This card uses the October 2020 sheet load of cards, and I just love this red truck Christmas card that she created. I have someone very special in my life who is also in love with red trucks, so I know that she'll like seeing that this was sent in. Thank you so much, Christina. Naomi H. from Minnesota also used the October 2020 sheet load and she created and sent in two different cards. I am loving that background pattern paper and those colors on that Christmas one on the left and how you added the twine. Over on the right, we have a gorgeous patriotic card, again with some silver thread there at the bottom and it is kind of hard to see on screen but that sentiment is stamped, gold heat embossed, die cut, and then it was popped up off the card front. It really adds an impact to the card. Thank you so much, Naomi, for sending these in. Before we move on to the rest of my happy mail, I thought I would stop by and give you a look at some of the cards that you can find over on Instagram. Here is a little peek at nine of them. Unfortunately, right now, you can't see the most recent post using the hashtag because of the election. So I will make sure again to link that hashtag below so you can go check out all of the October 2020 cards for yourself once the election is over. 
Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in this fabulous fall card using the October 2020 layout again. I am loving the gold foiling on this. It adds so much fun and shine. And then also she has added some fun clear glittered enamel dots at the bottom around that sentiment. It is so adorable. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Charlotte B. of Texas has sent in another one of her gorgeous made from scratch cards. I'm pretty sure this is probably a one of a kind card. She has used different watercolor techniques to create this beautiful potted plant. The background was watercolored with a flat brush, she said, and then for the plant, she used a little watercolor ombre effect. Thank you so much for sharing your lovely art with us, Charlotte. And last but certainly not least are three cards that I received from Karen C. of Virginia. For the cute card on the left, she has thrown it back to almost a year ago and used the December 2019 sheet load of cards with just a modification or two. On the center, the little blue snowy card, she has used a September 2020 sheet load of cards. It was a special slimline edition and I just love the sparkle on that blue glittery border. Over on the right, she has used the August 2020 sheet load of cards to create a sympathy card, a beautiful card for kind of a somber occasion. On each of these cards, and again, I say it a lot and I know it's hard to see on screen, there is some kind of shimmer or sparkle to each of them. I just love the little detail it adds. Thank you so much, Karen, for sending in your cards this month. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the beautiful cards that I received this month. Thank you to every single one of you who took the time to make a card and send it in to me. I really love to go to my P.O. box each week and pull out new envelopes. And don't forget that tomorrow, November 1st, I will be back with the newest sheet load of cards. Until then, here is a little black and white sneak peek of the first card. If you would like to see the full color sneak peek, make sure to visit my Instagram account. I am at callmecraftyal. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.